Bullying behaviors represent low or no emotional intelligence, or the perpetrator's brain is in an altered state. Bullying behaviors are learned, period. The goal of the perpetrator is to feel powerful and in control by trying to make someone else feel weak and worthless. Welcome to The Magic of Emotional Intelligence with Arlene R. Taylor, Ph.D., Brain Function Specialist. Bullying behaviors can be described as intentional and repeated attempts to cause others to experience discomfort, fear, or injury, or to destroy their credibility and reputation. The behaviors can be overt or covert, witnessed or clandestine, identified or anonymous so subtle that they pass unnoticed or dramatically staged. Typically, there is a perceived imbalance of power, but not always. Each perpetrator has their own unique style with preferred tactics to intimidate and control their targets. Some work hard to make friends with their victims while planning to jerk the rug out from under them or find a way to stab them in the back. Some historians think that Julius Caesar was assassinated because of his earlier bullying behaviors toward the Roman senators. Bullying behaviors negatively impact everyone. The perpetrators, the targets or victims, families, close friends, anyone who witnesses bullying behaviors, and sometimes even those who simply hear about the events. Estimates are that 50% or more of children have been bullied at home or at school. 56% of adolescents have been verbally and or physically bullied, resulting in serious psychological distress or SPD or symptoms of PTSD. An estimated one in three individuals experiences social relational bullying, and most adults experience emotional bullying at some time during their life. Bullying behaviors may involve harassment, and if intimidation is present, it is considered abuse. At times, it may escalate into suicidal ideation or homicide. The picture is very ugly. Eleanor Roosevelt has been quoted as saying, No one can make you feel inferior without your consent. End quote. Managing bullying behaviors begins with a mindset that you are valuable simply because you exist and that you can learn the skills necessary to be successful in building high emotional intelligence and a balanced sense of self-worth. EQ can also motivate you to get help as there is no shame in bravely asking for assistance. Thank you for watching The Magic of Emotional Intelligence. Check out allmylinks.com slash brainfunctionguru and please subscribe to Dr. Taylor's YouTube channel, youtube.com slash user slash brainguru taylor.